Right, and then through the day, I would generally not eat until about uh, maybe two or three o'clock. I won't eat anything. I might have a few coffees. In fact, I have one right here. <laughs> and what I do is I have, uh, I brew my own coffee and then I have a dollop of cream in it. So there's no carbs in cream. And that's why I have to be careful with my cholesterol. I don't eat any other animal products or maybe a little bit of fish. And so I have, uh, I have, a little bit of cream that's the only real animal products I have so I'm keeping my levels under control but that's also why I have a little teaspoon of oat bran or rice bran because that helps enormously with uh, cholesterol levels so that's a little tip for you as well cheers and the reason that I don't eat uh, till later in the day is because I do the 16-8 thing where I try to let my body uh, rest and let my digestion rest and it promotes autophagy. Now autophagy is when you don't have any other uh, incoming food and your body starts to eat itself. And what I mean by that is the cells start to eat each other and it's always the bad guys that go first. So it's a great way to help prevent cancer and other issues in the body and it's basically a clean up system. Essentially you're not really meant to have anything so me having a little bit of cream kind of ruins that but um, it is still good for me to wait because I am promoting some digestive health and uh, I find it a really great way to keep slim as well. So if I do eat anything, it would probably be berries and I will also have some protein bars maybe, one or two. Sometimes I'll chew gum if I'm stressed uh, and just the natural sweetener gum and uh, that's about it until I have a really beautiful meal at night and I will eat some protein that's often uh, salmon and tuna and I will uh, eat prawns occasionally but I don't really eat any other meats. I will eat cheese and cream. And actually on the fish oil thing I forgot to mention that I do take high strength wild caught Alaskan salmon tablets, the omega-3 ones, the really big ones, and I take two so that it's really high dose and uh, that is fantastic for the brain and for when the memory starts to fade when you hit menopause. On menopause, again this is something you will need to see a doctor about and if your doctor is a little bit pushy or reluctant then find another doctor. I have been menopausal for about 18 months now and even in perimenopause I was rubbing in progesterone and estrogen cream through my biomedical doctor and I take the uh, bioidentical one because it is the same as the non-bioidentical. Some people think, oh, it's not regulated, da da da. It, you know, it's not regulated by the government, but it's certainly regulated amongst the circles of the people producing it. Um, and they're brilliant people. What I do is I rub it in every night and that I did during perimenopause and now for menopause. And if I stop it, I start to go, seriously, my brain just goes wacko. Like I get really depressed, it's just horrible. So I stay on it and studies now are saying that it is fine to stay on this lifelong. And there's also been new studies on the effect of women who've had cancer, breast cancer, and there's a lot more current information that if you have had cancer or if you're worried about HRT, please do see a doctor and talk about it because a lot new information has come to light and it is really a safe thing to take. It is a lot safer than having four drinks every night for sure. Do you know what I mean? So I encourage you if you're struggling with menopause and if you're able to, even if you had had cancer, to talk to your doctor about the possibility. Now, uh, getting towards bedtime, of course, I'll do my stretching. When I wake up, I do my stretching. And oh, I also forgot to mention, <laughs> Sorry, this is all over the place. I will always take warm water with a half lemon in it, like a good massive squeeze of lemon in it because what it does is it just cleanses the gut out and it's highly alkalinizing. And that's probably one of the most important things you can do for your skin is to alkalize the body. We are so acidic and anything that is acidic attracts disease. So that's why I'm keto or I try to go low sugar and carbs because you know, we avoided fats for so long, it's really the sugar and carbs we need to avoid because they are acidifying. Same with meats and dairy products. So I don't eat a lot of those and I try to avoid sugar. So keeping your body uh, less acidic, so you need to alkalize and the best way you can do that is through uh, acids. So taking vinegars, taking lots of lemons, so starting your morning with that lovely flush of lemon juice is a great way to start the day and to wake up the gut. 
and then at the moment I've just started two days a week just before I hop into bed I'm started using testosterone cream and this is something that some women get very depleted in and the classic symptom is low energy sometimes low mood and uh, of course lack of interest in sex that kind of thing <laughs> Although that probably starts when you're 30 and I've got two small babies at home. But it's uh, it's brand new to Australia. It's a product called Androfem. And in fact, Australia is one of the only countries, if not the only country in the world, that actually prescribes and produces testosterone specifically for women. There are obviously a lot of testosterone products for men and for transgender people, but when it comes to women, it has to be a certain type and a certain dose, very, very low dose. And I've only just started taking that and I'm uh, really interested to see if next week, if I have a beard, then you know it's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> but uh, my beautiful biomedical doctor thinks that it's really going to work for me and what we'll do over a period of time is we'll test my blood and see how it's working and uh, it's interesting I'm already starting to feel quite good so that's exciting again please consult the doctor on this type of stuff won't you okay now uh, the last thing I do before bed after taking my vitamins is I take a collagen powder now this is from Aussie bodies and I believe it does have a sweetener because it tastes yummy but it only has 2.2 grams of carbohydrate in it this is nothing so uh, and that's two scoops so um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about is when you're reading the carbohydrate labels on things if you want to go low carb there is a big difference here so the full carbohydrate here is 2.2 grams then underneath it's got in sugars so there are two different types of carbohydrate so the carbohydrate you get from fiber which we need and we want, which is why it's important to eat fruit when it's full. So if you're making a fruit smoothie, put the whole fruit in, don't just use the juice, because then all you're ingesting is the sugar, you're not having the fiber. And fiber uh, actually um, helps mitigate the uh, sugar in the blood so that you don't end up getting such high blood sugar. So for example, if you have an apple juice, your blood sugar is going to go bonkers. If you eat an apple and get the same amount of juice, it will not go bonkers. It's still sugar, but that fiber helps mitigate that sugar in the blood, you know, so it doesn't have such a detrimental effect. Whenever your blood sugar rises, you are acidifying your body and you are encouraging disease. So when you look at labels, look at the carbohydrates, only 2.2 grams per serving for this one. And uh, what we want to actually read here, though, is uh, the sugars. So it's only 0.9 of a gram in sugars and the rest is fiber. So if you see uh, a, a carbohydrate reading of 10, but then the sugars are only 2, then that's great. You can still have that and keep your carbs really, really low. So I use this collagen, which is fantastic for your skin, of course, for helping rebuild skin, but it's also great for overall health. And I'll have this every single night. I leave two hours to empty my stomach and get my gut moving, and then I will have that so it's sitting in my belly and it's much more readily absorbed. And this is actually a flavoured one. It does have sweetness in it, uh, but you can get just a regular uh, one from iHerb that doesn't have the sweetener in it if you don't want any kind of sweetening. Um, I know Aussie bodies do great stuff and they don't have crap sweeteners. So yeah, highly recommend the collagen. Okay, so in finishing, I just want to give you my top things that I do that are non-negotiable that I will have to do every day for my health and my skin. And the first one is to alkalize the body as much as I can. So starting with the lemon in the morning and trying not to eat acidifying foods. That's really important. So you can look that up yourself. Uh, I will have vinegar and MCT oil, good oils, uh, almond oils, uh, avocado oil, that kind of thing. All brilliant. You can look this up for the best oils yourself. And I just guzzle them. And that is non-negotiable every single day. Fermented foods, of course, brilliant for the gut, fantastic for your microbiome. Fermented foods, every day I have sauerkraut, every single day, or kimchi. Then cruciferous veg. So I will have my bok choy and Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, broccoli, any kind of cabbages. I will just devour them. I have them every single day and I will make a fantastic, I just get a full head of cauliflower and I put it in a steamer. Don't even need to chop it up and I just make it nice and soft and gooey. I get a stick blender. I put in cumin and 
uh, you know, a little bit of MCT oil, maybe some butter and lots of garlic and salt and pepper and uh, I just blend it up into a mash and I have that every single day. I have uh, spinach leaves every day as well and then of course lots of water and I have filtered water. I have it uh, in a little jug every day. It's filtered from the tap. There you go. That's my what I put inside my body, literally, uh, to uh, help keep my skin in good condition but also my health because of course they are so inexpensive strictly linked and we have to keep uh, uh, our bodies in tune for in order for our skin to shine and glow do we not so i hope that you take something from this and make it work for you and as ever i send you my love